Yeah. So, Bhavika. Yes, ma'am. Start the event. Yes, ma'am. A very good afternoon to everyone. ISBNM Nande presents its first ever series of monthly media webinar, The Media Web 2.0, presenting the third episode of Moment Marketing by Brands in 2020. Our guest speaker for this webinar is Mr. Saurabh Mandarkar, Digital Marketing Manager at Accenture and our alumni from 2004 batch. Our faculty moderator is Dr. Rajeshwari Saha, Media Faculty ISBNM Nande, and student moderator is me, Bhavika Mohata, PGDM final year student at ISBNM Nande. I would now request Dr. Rajeshwari Saha to please play the promo video. Yeah. just request uh, Dr. Rajeshwari to start with the conversation. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Saurav, for coming uh, with us, giving us your Sunday to us and uh, choosing an, a very interesting and in the moment topic, that is moment marketing. Yes. And uh, so, uh, so this is something which was in our mind and uh, thanks to alumni cell who brought you in and uh, we have you here. So uh, our, uh, we start by asking uh, that you, your journey from ISBNM to where you are. So we begin with that because uh, you had uh, started with a research as a, as a research uh, marketer, right? And then you travel to uh, digital marketing. Would, uh, could you tell us about that journey? Yeah, so first of all, thank you uh, for having me on board. Uh, my goodness, 106 people, all right. <laughs> so, okay, so I started my career with almost like a merchandiser where I was in Bartender Limited via the campus placements. Uh, from there, I moved to the eastern part of the country wherein, I mean, you name the cities like Assam, Dibrugar, uh, Arunachal, Raulkela, Orissa, Calcutta, some parts of Bihar and Jharkhand. So those were the areas where I covered in terms of majorly hardcore selling. Okay. So you can understand roaming from street to street from store to store, ensure that this to sell what type of uh, customer or what kind of profiling do these people have in those specific areas? Uh, what are the customer needs? When do they want specifically in their marriage or in any season or a Diwali or a Dashara? So on and so forth. And mostly from the eastern part, it's more of the Durga Puja that is uh, more prevalent than I would say Diwali or a New Year. So of course, yeah. So sales, it's a hardcore sales. Good learning, good. Uh, so that was for... that was something I wanted to know because you had worked as a district manager for the large yep. part of East region. You named all yep. like the a chunk of East region. What was your ex experience? When I say experience, I I I as a as a as a marketer. So you you look at psychography, look at look at because every every region selling in every region is a is is a different experience. I assume. So yep. what was yep. what was your experience like? So primarily, you see, I mean, if I go into the uh, hardcore eastern part, which is the Calcutta or uh, even a little bit of Bihar or Jharkhand, right. I mean, simple profiling of customers is something where I had done it earlier, where the people have got a little bigger foot size in terms of eights or a nines, I would say. And the more eastern or the more northern part, if you go like in Arunachal or things, so people with a shorter height tend to have shorter, uh, I mean, a smaller foot. 
So mm-hmm. that was a basic profiling, right? I mean, you said right. you tend to send <laughs> the goods accordingly. I can, I mean, if a person needs a size ten to fit in, right? I can't give him an eleven or a nine. Got you were in Bata, a, right? Yeah, I was in Bata. Oh in yes, area. yes, yes. And uh, uh, so I think Bhavika uh, and our students here uh, want to, I think, understand how moment marketing fits uh, fits into the digital marketing scene. Okay, so I'll okay. That was like almost fifteen or sixteen odd years back. Now I'll just fast forward it to current scenario right now. Right. Digital marketing is where in my so I can't of course I can't with the con- client confidentiality which I have I can't name the client that I work for, but uh, it's a social media client and that gives me a good sort of a background in terms of where all digital marketing lies, where all digital marketing is. And the moment marketing, right? So it's not just because of whatever pandemic situation that we have right now, mm. that moment marketing has come up. It has been there since a pretty long time. I mean, I would quote, if I'm not mistaken, yes, I would quote uh, the Mr. I mean, Dr. Ramdas's uh, comment over here that ads is made not for the product to sell, but advertisements are done in order to catch the emotions of the wow. consumer. So wow. you don't sell a product, right? You sell a feeling, you sell an emotion, you sell a product which a person can associate with. And hence that moment marketing came up, right? So for example, simple example I'm going to give you, which is Zoom. Right. Probably four years ago or even two years ago, we never heard what Zoom was, right? We used to do a Skype calls, <laughs> probably Android and a WhatsApp video call, something of that sort. So probably yeah. an Apple, that was a FaceTime, which was primarily only the sole ownership of Apple. The moment we saw that because of this pandemic situation, everyone has been confined to home. Mm-hmm. Any, any Tom, Dick and Harry company could have picked up like a video calls, correct? We got a lot many things and all things, but why Zoom made a influential or impact, right? Because it targeted the consumer who are people like you, me, who's going to work from exactly. home. You're going to have webinars. You're going to chat. You're going to send presentations or probably even record presentations, even share PPTs across, right? Right. The biggest, biggest advantage of being probably for me, it's I'd, okay, fair enough. I would not do a video call day on and day out, right? For people who are in colleges and schools, that is the most, most helpful thing that probably Zoom had uh, kicked in and probably that is why Zoom is successful right now. Right. So that is what is primarily the moment marketing, right? You, moment marketing, right? You catch upon the need of the hour. What is it, right? And then how you capitalize on being probably the market leader right now in the field. Right. So, uh, uh, when we when we see your journey from your first job, your you your journey was from the role of a merchandiser mm-hmm. to the role of research and analytics, right? Yep, yep. And and ultimately a digital marketer. Yep. Tell me, was it a planned one? Oh no, definitely not. Uh, if I tell you what I wanted to become, we all will be shocked with the one twenty five people who are on board. No, we uh, would like to hear actually, and we I... would like to know the tactic. <laughs> I wanted to become a chef. Okay. And I cook myself a lot many things at home. I've got kids and wife around whom normally I spend uh, the weekends cooking. I mean, Indian or continental or even Chinese. So <laughs> I love to cook. I've got my own cookbook. My wife has got another, I mean, of her own. So You have a published one? No, I don't have a published one, but okay. yeah, all uh, the okay. snippets, okay. snippets store from different magazines and everything and also whichever cookbooks that I keep on. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Instagram on food. I'm a big fan of All that. Right. So how the journey began, right? I got placement, got through our campus placement. 2002 and 2004 back. 2000, yeah, yes. 2004. Yes. From there, I went to Calcutta, came back to Delhi as a merchandiser <clears throat> into hardcore, uh, I mean, ordering and supply chain and how does a one person ensure that it is a little bit of analytics, right? Goes okay. into that in terms of selling as well. From there, I came to know that probably this is not my photo. This is not my cup of tea selling or being. So I, I have probably want to grow myself into somewhere where I can apply some numbers. And how do I take out a meaningful impact out of those numbers, right? Because data I can get anywhere. It's how do you make use of that data? How do you make use of that numbers? So ensure that uh, how do I do? So then I started uh, doing some courses, which is of course, I mean, online course in terms of what are the different analytics, what tools do we use? And all those things. And from there, I went on to hardcore retail research. 
So give you an example, like for example, in Bombay or St. Pune and Biman Nagar, a new mall shopper stop wants to come up. Okay? Right. So shopper stop will do a quick survey as to what are the households that are in and out Biman Nagar mm -hmm. uh, from say probably a Wickfield factory or probably till uh, the end of Biman Nagar, I would say. Right. What is the customer profiling? What people buy, what people choose, what people wear, which brand do they buy, what yeah. are the brands that children wear. Uh, during time of festival, if I have, say, for example, if I get my salary on the first, right? Mm -hmm. If I get a hundred rupees, where would that hundred rupees be spent? Whether probably 50% on food and groceries, mm -hmm. probably a 40 rupees, 40% 40 balance on the uh, domestic items, like uh, probably groceries and everything and all, probably the safety of the uh, child and children, and everything, probably fees and everything, and probably 10% on the shopping. Mm -hmm. So that 10% I need to capitalize on because I need to increase that 10% to a 12 or a 13. Right. And hence that profiling, so understanding the customer, I roam practically entire Mumbai for that, just mm -hmm. to understand if any retail company would come down or any retail would want to open a mall or even a small single store. How does the customer profiling behave? And, from and do you believe, uh, uh, sorry, I just uh, cut you in between. Uh, do you believe that uh, the, the, this insight, the customer insight you get is, is only because of the feel uh, the, uh, the, uh, the 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 field uh, profiling. I mean, being on field teaches you more than uh, when it, when it, when you uh, uh, come out. Like uh, yesterday, we had this conversation with Nikhil. Nikhil mm -hmm. saying of Shimaru, I think you your batchmate. I know Nikhil. Yes. So, yeah, he was there yesterday, and you were sharing that I learned a lot on field. So this insight which you're sharing that is after a lot of years, or it was uh, when you were a fresher. So I just, uh, that's why I, I wanted to know I would that. suggest if your initial days of your job involves you like a field roaming kind of a job, mm -hmm. do that. Get that experience because it is very, very important to understand what is the cus customers, how does the market behave, what products sell, what do not, how does a simple pricing. So everyone knows that Bata has a pricing of 999, right? It's ending, ending at nine. You don't mm -hmm. pay a thousand bucks, you pay nine and nine, but that nothing is just a one rupee different difference. Right. But it's, it's just the pricing and is the uh, marketing strategy that Bata has. So again, to come to your question, doctor, it, it is, I wouldn't say it is like mandate, but yeah, right. you get definitely good hands on experience. If you have a uh, field job where you roam around, you sell your product or you promote your product, but it mm -hmm. definitely gives you a good example, good leverage in terms of, okay, I had this field background. Right now I'm doing an office job, but yes, I do know what's happening outside and I do know how know the customers behave. Right. I think Bhavika has a question. Uh, so, sir, I just wanted to know, like, what is the basic concept of this particular thing, like moments marketing? And how is it, like, uh, how will it help the brands in this current pandemic? How will this particular marketing help the brands to cope up with the pandemic? how to go about it and what will be the impact like after post pandemic, what will be the thing? How will this thing will benefit them? Okay. So I'll give you an example, right? I mean, I, I always uh, have learned a lot many things why examples of different brands or different companies, mm -hmm. different products, right? For, for example, simple stuff like Swiggy and Zomato. Now they have been prevalent uh, since quite a long time. We have been ordering food and uh, the moment pandemic started and probably end, of Feb and March, right? We all stopped ordering food from outside because probably just the scare or just the, from a safety point of view, correct? From us and probably the children or the families that we are uh, catering to. Now, what did Zomat and Swiggy said? So restaurants are closed. If the restaurants, like for example, in one month, one and a half month, probably majority of the big chunks company lost their jobs and lost their market value, correct? Because of the simple panic, it didn't affect us, it affect, affected the entire world. So coming to your point, Bhavika, so when we had this uh, situation coming up where the unlock one and unlock two and all those things started coming up, people started opening restaurants. probably the seating could not happen, but yes, they were in a position to supply food at home. How did yeah. Swiggy and Zomato came up with the strategy? It's a no contact food delivery, right? Mm -hmm. So right. this is their, that was probably their uh, gimmick or line or you motto or you want to call it, or probably a tagline or a brand line. Right. Where a person picks up the food, your temperature is checked, your RFDC to and all those apps are checked, the person comes home, rings the bell, delivers the food, keeps the food and then goes away. And what you do is take out the food, heat it up in a, or your own utensil, dispose of the uh, cartons, everything and yeah, you're good to go. So 
in this pandemic situation, how moment marketing helped is primarily when Swiggy and Zomato came to know that, okay, restaurants are delivering, they capitalize on that no contact, that they are ensuring that, okay, the person is safe, the person is uh, infected, I mean, he's not infected, his temperature is fine, his vitals are fine, he does not have any symptoms of so-called COVID. So that is something that they capitalize on. Right. So uh, there is there is this two term. There are the two term. Uh, when we, we read about women marketing, there is one thing which is your socio-cultural change, what is happening, right? right? In the moment we stay. So in the moment could be the changes which is happening, the trending things, right? Like Rasore Me Kaun Tha. And that then the... Happen. Right. It could be that or it could be Corona also, Correct. of course. Uh, so when we talk about Corona, then, then that there is there is something which is called also responsible marketing. Right. Right. And then uh, we call it, we'll call some, there's this technical term which is called micro moment. What, mm -hmm. how are these two different? Could you, could you give, sh share some insight to our uh, uh, students here? Let's see. Micro is very minuscule when you go down to a specific single unit or any single commodity or a niche marketing, right? So right. give an example of Starbucks, I would say. So Starbucks all over the world does one very peculiar thing. So whenever you go for a Starbucks, you order, they purposefully misspell your name. If you see on your cup, they always do that. Okay. So even when I had gone, yeah, they S-A-U-R-E-B-H, they goof it up, they come up with some slang name and all things. So why does you do, why do they do that, right? right. It's simple, it's, it's a, a person, when I go, I find something amusing. I might probably have a bad experience with the coffee, but that name, which he probably, probably uh, places me like a, say Captain America or Captain Sorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So just, just an example, right? So what these people do is they, they play with your emotions and they play with sort of a feelings where I am so-called intrigued to go back to that store just to check. I'll probably not even order a coffee, but I just want to know, okay, if I were to place an order of a coffee, what would be my name come as? I just want to know what is, what he's going to do next. So this is actually uh, that personal. It is a kind of a personalized marketing yep. approach. Yep. It is right. So moment marketing was introduced to uh, knowing the fact that we need to engage the audience. Now it's a completely different wave. And it's like one individual having a different kind of a persona. And uh, let's just move about the moments, which actually matters to that person. It is that individualized or personalized? Is it, uh, yep, I would is say, it about I that? Mean, top of mind, the biggest and the most uh, Viable, I would say, example comes to me is Amul. You uh -huh. see the Amul ads on the holdings, that uh -huh. is up to date. I mean, oh you cannot really? go beyond that because whenever you see the holdings, those are up to date. The most current scenario that is happening, it's on the board. They make an ad out of it. Whether right. it was a World Cup or even the Sushant Singh Rajput oh. case or any, I mean, any female uh, winning the World Cup or the Miss Universe, not World Cup, sorry, the Miss World and Miss Universe, it's it's there, right? It's so there. it's that the moment marketing because they are on point. They are on point. the latest, yeah, they're on point and that helps us probably. So I may not even go buy an Amul today, but the moment I see an ad, right? Oh, right, Amul is targeting that. I see the holding, I see the board, right? It probably drives me towards, okay, right now, if, if I have that advertisement, on the back of the pack, I would probably buy a mool butter more and keep this as a souvenir. Right. Bhavika, uh, uh, Abhishek Singh had been asking something. This, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. So this is the question from Abhishek Singh. And he is asking, like, there are so many moments that are there. So, like, how do we approach in choosing the right one? Like, for how brands are able to approach the right moment? Like, like this is the right moment for this particular brand. How do they know that? I'm going to ask a question to that question again. So how do these brands know in terms of what kind of selling? Are you hinting upon selling of the product? Are you hinting upon just branding of the product? Or are you hinting of just like, okay, I need to make my presence felt in that specific scenario. So Abhishek, so I want you to be a yeah. little... Yeah. Alert little on the... Yes. Piece. I think, I think uh, it's, it's a very general question. Uh, so, uh, I mean, there are different, uh, I mean, whether you are using it to attract, whether you are using it in the 
which which uh, product or brand life cycle that is how we i right. think approach uh, which moment will be right for the right one i think uh, it was a very general question so and if abhishek you could uh, rewrite the question again there is an another one somebody asked that what are the challenges and opportunities the famous question mm -hmm. <laughs> what are the challenges and opportunities in the 2020 covid scenario <laughs> sorry advantages but we have opportunity. see yeah if if i were to be if you look at it as a way forward also from here right yeah how do you see it see right now wherever i go it's three things three norms yeah we, i mean even we follow probably in office or anywhere outside right one is the social distancing part second is keeping yourself clean in terms of using the sanitizers the mask and right. the face shields if you want it if you i mean depend upon the way you're working and i mean th third but definitely not the least is taking care of your own self right in terms of building right. your own immunity and everything why all of a sudden the sa sale of sanitizers boomed up right why the sale of probably mask boomed up never imagined that mask would sell like probably hot cakes right if i mean yeah Adam during Soli, yeah was, yeah you name it those company have started delivering mask right i mean from a company like a dima to even a company like aro or uh, say uh, i mean alan soli what i know because these people have been coming to my office regularly for uh, i mean advertising those mask and all so mask were definitely there i'm not saying those were not utilized but yes it's how you portray them right i mean i've got mask my son uses a mask of a hulk is a small hulk photo <laughs> yeah, over there yeah. and he likes those characters so he likes mm -hmm. all the avengers characters so we had to order him from uh, amazon so mm -hmm. this is how they have said like opportunity is what you name a product which is going to one if it is self sustaining product in terms of marketing i would say yes the sales keep on going going without any push or something yes that's there second if the product is very innovative and nobody thinks of it that that's the product that's going to benefit you I'll I'll take that a notch higher, and I, I mean one question a notch higher. One uh, student, Ashish, asked how moment marketing would help brands to target or segment prospect. I would take it a notch higher and ask you, how do uh, uh, a campaign manager or how do a digital marketer uses uh, this this uh, moment marketing? Do they use it through videos or posters? And how do you actualize and make an excellent campaign plan? just a tactic See, maybe you, so, if you could share yep so i'll yep. give you a small example and then this is what uh, probably facebook has been doing pretty long time okay so with when you use your facebook id to log in into amazon or say instagram or any other website right because that is a normally normal feature that we use right one common username you don't remember the passwords you just use it all over so do a flight search on cleartrip.com so from a bombay to a delhi do from say probably right now or in october or november during diwali go to facebook the first ad that you will see is probably a make my trip or a clear trip right yes. so what happens is so what since it is interlocated right what these people do is in the back of your mind it always keeps you at a like a tick kind of thing that okay no i have to book my ticket so whether i go on instagram yeah. whether i go on amazon or whether i even not even book from clear trip but they always keeps on prompting me right. that okay i need to book my tickets so mm -hmm. in terms of strategy right if i were to like a product to be omnipresent all over right it keeps on hitting that head of yours like okay book ticket book ticket book ticket book <laughs> yeah. ticket and then it gives me a pop up right okay the prices have reduced down from like 2000 to 1500 i might not have any more intention of going to delhi right now but it's just that pull that has pull strategy and a push strategy right or I mean i'm yes. not recalling marketing Terms yeah. <laughs> from Ram Dasi sir. So, I yeah, think so it's, uh, it's all a pull strategy that pulls me towards doing that sale for them. Right, right. I I think he was here. <laughs> he was supposed to be here. I think he sir is there. So uh, um, so when you said that, um, you you told me that you would uh, share some very current example. So but before that. Omkar Pore, uh, Bhavika, can you take that question? He yes, wanted wants to know something from you. Uh, yes. So the the student he wants to know that what are the effective marketing techniques for a startup with low budget for advertisement? 
like with the companies that have low budget so what will be the effective marketing so is it is it uh, related to uh, uh, moment marketing i think you want to know about effective i mean if we put in moment marketing in the picture how can we make a startup a uh, uh, effective one so tie up with different small companies that you have been in around in a locality right so see if you're targeting 100 houses or 100 buildings or even yeah. say 100 colonies it all depends upon what your target is so basis my budget right i might put it online or might it put it even a pamphlet in a newspaper or even say when of course i mean not many societies have still started newspaper because of the contact uh, thing many people are still reading like for example me as a myself so i'm reading newspapers online so if i have those ads there with the local companies or local so of course times of india being a very online is a very big thing so if you want to have a sort of a leaflet delivered uh, one of contact simple call ICC bank. Just tell them that boss. Next time you send an e bill, just tag this PDF document stating that okay, we are delivering ABC, we're delivering masalas, we're delivering food, uh, household items, anything of those sorts. So start from a society or a colony, and then keep on building that so that your name comes into picture. So that right. today, if if there's a startup company, right? be it whatever product that may be, even if it be a local sanitizer mm -hmm. or a hand wash something. First, you've got to have the pain of giving some free samples, do away stating that boss, people know your product. Exactly. And yes, please get the feedback. Don't assume that the people will come back to buy a repeat purchase, get a feedback, do some changes if there are. And yes, then you can definitely propagate it. Actually, that also answers uh, other students' uh, question who asked on that uh, there is so much of online branding and online yeah. visibility happening that are offline branding uh, affected. I think that answers that, that, you know, this, this oh, example of yours, that you can go, you, you keep it online and go offline and, you know, make your own tactics. That is exactly. one example, and of course, that is how uh, we can, you know, create moments. Now, I'll, I'll give you. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I'll, I'll cut you to. I'll cut no, you no. To you, small you example. Yeah, I'll yeah. give you a small example of yeah. what society is happening right now, right? Mm -hmm. Earlier, we used to go to a market to buy vegetables, correct? Right? right. Now, what are these vegetable vendors doing? They are keeping stalls below our building, mm -hmm. and telling that okay, I'm going to come on a Wednesday. I'm going to come on a Friday. This yeah. is, these are the vegetables that I'm going to buy. If you want to buy something, WhatsApp me, I'll get accordingly to your packets. That is simple, basic moment marketing. We never thought that any vegetable vendor would come make their stand below or big, big, I mean, whatever. They get that tempo or a trolley or truck, whatever, mini truck, below the building, start selling those vegetables and make uh, money out of it. Right? We never imagined that would happen. That right. is simple. I mean, the biggest and the most simplest solution or example is that is moment mobile market. supermarket. Actually, mobile I, supermarket. I cannot go we don't out. have it yeah. stationed in anywhere. Go yeah. out. I don't want to get in touch with five other people who are probably selling vegetables over there. I know one person and he's certified by my society stating that that person does not have any symptom or any illness. Mm. That vegetable is yeah. coming down. I don't have to go. I don't have to spend fuel. I go down. Give him my order like a 24 hours prior on WhatsApp, pay him via Google Pay or Paytm or anything. Take my packet, come up, just that's it. My entire week's vegetables are done in probably what 10 minutes or 15 minutes maximum. So, when we take uh, these examples, uh, uh, sir, uh, we are we only uh, thinking about tier one, tier two, and uh, that kind of a demographic. How do we create moments for uh, people who are uh, living in town? Say, for example, uh, how do I make my brand visible? I am a startup. I might work up, uh, work on, or maybe I'm not a startup. I'm a big brand or whatever I am. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, if if I'm creating moments, how do moment marketing work in a completely different demography, which is not tire one or tire two? Does it matter? As a, what do you what do you think? See, ideally, if you have a renowned brand, right, and you're not a startup, startup. So, even if you're not there, your product would sell. I mean, again, that's probably just me. I could be wrong. Yeah. But if you have a big amount of surplus, if you have big amount of brand value, that people will come back to you probably not today, but yeah, tomorrow. 
Right. I might, so for example, any big brands like Veera Moda or uh, H&M or everything. Yeah. So these the people are tying up with Mintra, Flipkarts and Amazons, right? And mm. these, the people and the people and all are still buying products from home. Mm -hmm. So what the risk is that say, for example, if I buy a jeans, probably or like a 4K or a 5K jeans, right? From an H&M or a Veera Moda or any other big brand, probably if I were to buy I might not like the feel of the product because the, what what it looks online and what it comes to my hand when I feel the jeans or something, it's something different. I might I just think, returning yeah, back. I think I, I had asked it uh, in a very uh, confusing way. <laughs> what I meant, I mean, what I meant was that, for example, all brands will not have the same approach. For example, you used a Vero Moda uh, example. Right. Uh, one student here is asking about Maggie. Maggie okay. is for all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anybody right yep, and yep, yep. Matlab, in fact when Maggie was banned Himachal Pradesh ke, uh, there is a place Tirthan, which is like remote they yeah. had stacked some Maggie for themselves yeah, because absolutely. tourists yeah. right will visit so he uh, Manraj asked this question uh, Bhavika you want to take it's a very interesting question yes, which I think is a better version mm -hmm. of my question <laughs> Manraj yes, Maggie's sir. question so yeah. Manraj uh, Singh asked this question when was the strategy of Nestle were, uh, when they relaunched Maggie. So how so the I, hype yeah. was there when they relaunched it? I mean, uh, how they used, I think, moment marketing in there. How do we see right. so that? I'll, I'll tell you, uh, Maggie, I mean, Nestle primarily, Maggie is mm -hmm. one of the top selling products of theirs. Right. One. Second, uh, Maggie revamped itself twice. Once during, I think, our times, if I'm not mistaken, when they reduce the thickness of the uh, noodle cake that you call it. It reduced the thickness of the cake and it didn't sell well. So they came back saying that Ab pehle jaisa, ya better pehle jaisa. So that was something tagline which I remember, which I recall during 2000s and post that brand and uh, Patanjali came into picture and everything on see If I'm brand loyal, right? I might try probably a Maggi Atta or a Top Ramen or something of those sorts, right? But the, I mean, <laughs> Being in food and uh, being, I mean, liking food. So the yeah. aroma that comes up when anyone cooks Maggi masala or Maggi chicken, right? The aroma that uh, entire spreads I, I in just, tea. It's something exciting. It's something. It exciting. is. It is. From it a cannot marketing be replaced. point of view, from a marketing <laughs> point of view, what did Maggi or what did Nestle said is that they first cleared out all the notions that they had, right? In terms of whatever chemicals they have, whatever plastic or synthetic, and any of those sorts that were put as a blame to them, they first cleared it out, stating that we have done our test, we have done our background, this is what it is. So we are all, we are coming in clean. Mm. And this is still what we have. So the taste has not changed. The texture, the flavor, anything have not changed. So that is the same Maggie that you will enjoy, probably you were enjoying one month prior. And now you're going to enjoy the same Maggie. So it's going to be safe, right? And I, I, I still remember Nestle even propagated it in newspapers, like right? front page Times of India, there was a half yes. page, half paper ad stating that we have cleared all the doubt. This is the confirmation that we have got from- yeah. Even the series of ads, series of that emotion yeah. provo uh, provoking that I miss you Maggie, come back and exactly. different kind of demography people, some student, some mother, so, you know, some bachelor. So right. they, they did that. And I think that is how they channelized uh, 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 I still marketing. remember there's one one Nestle ad which says that Aaj mujhe pure marks nahi hai. I think there's a guy or a girl who comes up home and there's yeah, a mother who says marks nahi hai. And then you give that bowl of maggot and say, to kya hua? Lekin <laughs> attempt to ki hai. No? So it's, it's like a small celebration. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that sort is. of hashtags were also given at that time. Yeah. You exactly. Yeah. Of course they do. They missed it the most. <laughs> So, uh, uh, we'll take uh, Ashish's question just very in short, if you can, you know. Sure. Ashish Malik uh, asked uh, Bhavika. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so, She's asking about offline and online, actually. So. Yes, ma'am. So, like Ashish uh, Malik asked, like, what do you suggest in the pandemic? Like, uh, there are so many people, they go outside. So, how performing, like, moment marketing online? Today will be better choice or like offline will be better choice. What will be better choice? Whether offline performing the moment marketing will be better or offline it will it be better or both or mixture of both. 
sir according to you what or, is mix, or right? if we ha it's if we don't go by the either or because both are working in a very different strategy but then if you have Correct. some insight can how how do you see it working on ground and off uh, online see i'll give a small example that happened in my office 4 days ago we had a right. client visit mm -hmm. now the moment we say okay there's a client visit in terms of if i were to convert the similar kind of thing into a college scenario we have a guest yeah. speaker yeah. now what does it say that person is going to come probably 9 o'clock in the office there's going to be a small uh, introduction of that speaker that person the speaker is going to talk about uh, any topic related to his profession or her profession for one and a half hours the there will be some small award ceremony kind of thing that that person will probably be escorted uh, and then he will leave the building right now convert them into the current scenario we have a guest uh, speaker or we have a client visit the person is going to start a meeting on zoom the person is going to answer your question from say 2 to 3 oh god <laughs> are, so see we are in the moment yes we all, are in the it all depends upon what your need is whether exactly. it is offline or online i'll give you an example with specifically with pune hmm. everyone likes misal pav oh yes of course you would you be rather hand on heart okay hand even i'll, I'll keep my hand on my heart hand on <laughs> heart would you rather be interested in having misal pav delivered to you or you standing at a corner beside chandni chowk eating say uh, misal pav at probably 2 am in the morning have a answer <laughs> with hand on heart <laughs> no matter what the feel of standing there and eating is totally different exactly whether you go to station to eat bun maska or you go to irani cafe or go to shoesberries to the east street and all it all depends upon all and off and yes people who are a little i would say scared or little safety concern yes they would probably bite online stating that okay i want to go i don't want to go down there but end of the day that person the vendor who's selling missile power shoesberry biscuit that is getting their sales done right Mm -hmm. and it's about propagating right okay my hands are clean my staff is clean my staff is all uh, covid tested but they are none they are all negative they don't have any temperatures my utensils and the cutlery that has been used is all uh, sanitized and all free germ free so it all depends upon whether it is online or offline right how do you target your customer it all depends upon your product now i wouldn't sell my car online a brand new maruti probably would i sell it on amazon would i sell it on flipkart or would i sell it on maruti the website itself probably not right because for me that feel of sitting in a car feeling the ac feeling the music system taking a test drive always matters uh, so it all depends upon your product yes yes uh, bhavika you had two yes, questions sir. one is harshad oh, and nikhil's yes sir So, sir, this is Harshad Basani. He wants to ask this question: Like, what is the way, best way to get the feedback from the customers? Like, uh, because sometimes what happens, like, feedback becomes just a formality. So, is it like it should be? The, how can we like in, ensure that the customers are giving an accurate feedback rather than thinking like it's just a formality to them? Oh, I, I think he. What he meant is that they they do actually they do service. They have already started their internship program, right? Uh -huh. So there are many people who are in the final year. of okay. uh, yeah so and of course the juniors are there so i think they are uh, doing what you are saying the demography and you know going to places okay. and doing yeah. yeah so and and we know that uh, you know one could be that you do the job and uh, i think he wants to know that how do you actualize or uh, go forth then the survey question mm -hmm. because there are many people who are when you were maybe at your time when you were you know on field if you just right. can share some tactics with the students i think that is what he wants to know see the questionnaire so imagine the scenario you're coming back from office you're tired you just want to fill up petrol at a fuel pump and there's this one guy who comes in sir isbi card hai kya aapke paas sir aapko ek card main aapko free de raha hu and the moment what you do is sir nahi chahiye yaar dimag kharab mat kar this is probably the mentality that we do right right but likewise right the feedback is very important as of now because one wrong feedback right can mess up the company's uh, image, reputation everything. image yeah. and probably even repeated sales yeah so the feedback is very important we normally give feedback when when you're you're not doing well you're doing it wrong 
your product is bad the pricing was high the quality was yeah exactly. the pizza was late the pizza was we cold pizza was, yeah. yes, yes but yes. have we ever came across and said that no dominos you have delivered me every now and then before 30 minutes i like your pizza the crunch is good the cheese is better we don't right we give feedback only when it is bad or it's a negative feedback yeah. so if i were to take a honest feedback of my product or of my service right i would tell them but okay this is use the product use the product with me or probably if you can it i'll come back tomorrow again and give me an honest feedback feedback whether i'll if i need to charge you for the product if you say that the product is nice yes i'm going to give it for free as an example if you say that the product is not well fair enough you keep it i'm going to replace you with this product but i'm going to have 50% discount the strategy that i'm using is i've kept that customer in my pocket sitting bus tomorrow i'm going to visit your house again with a new product wow if you like this you keep it fair enough take it for free i won't charge you tomorrow i'm going to ask you the feedback again if you don't like it i'm going to replace with the product but i'm going to charge you 50% so this is how you do right it's it's an honest feedback for people fill up questionnaire just to tick right pass pass ha nahi ha nahi yeah that is what it happens but and that is why where the statistical uh, information comes into picture right because what happens is when i was in uh, retail research in imrb mm-hmm. we used to fill out 1000 to 2000 questionnaires in a day because genuinely we used to tell that 10% of those would be crap 10% of the 2000 or say even 2 and half thousand would be crap because that would people just fill in for the heck of it right. probably they don't have time or the sales person is just had to fill 2500 so 2499 he had done the one which he need to fill is he just fills in himself yeah yeah so that happens right but i know that the major chunk of that like the 90% or even a 80% of that is an honest feedback it's an honest truth right so that is how so for example you want to cater to abhi simple abhi pardon me okay but chokse sir ke paper mein hr mein if you want to achieve 80 out of 100 you study 100 and then you achieve 80 you don't achieve you don't target 80 and you achieve 60 right right that That's is simple so you exa- you extrapolate you increase your uh, i would say a customer base right in order to get a feedback and then you narrate down before screaming off and coming I mean, keep taking out the crap and everything also you come to a concrete number with this example they are never going to forget <laughs> they'll never forget how to the tactic right i think and the nikhil's question bhavika go for it yes ma'am uh, so so nikhil kumar agrawal he asked this question like uh, it is for brands to come up with marketing budget so how is it difficult to them when it comes to like different uh, there are different planned or unplanned moments so how it is difficult for them to come up with the budget in respect to the planned moments or as well as unplanned moments so budget so and moment marketing i think how yeah, do we yeah. how yes. how much we keep and uh, so yes so what will insights? be the, how to articulate a particular budget right so nikhil frankly it would be difficult for me to say what kind of budget as a startup or a brand company could use frankly because any startup would require a substantial amount of money to ensure that if i run into losses like the one which are coming into right i mean air france and air canada and all those companies have they have i mean told that they have gone bankrupt right and everything so big companies big restaurants hoteliers they have turned themselves as bankrupt because there's no sales there's nothing happening so you got to have some substantial amount of budget in terms of if and emergency comes into picture right then at least my day to day needs are been fulfilled so frankly nikhil i'm i'm not i think i'm actually uh, uh, i am uh, the budgeting is is moment marketing perceived as a high budget uh, in a campaign is it uh, or one can do with a restricted budget also in a marketing campaign yeah, we can have I'm right do, right see end of the day my product or my service has to sell correct right if i were to do it in 1 rupee or if i were to do it 10 rupees end of the day what matters to me is if i am making any profit out of the deal sure whether i spend 10 rupees and make 2 rupees or if i send uh, spend 2 rupees and make a 10 rupee profit so moment marketing helps yes it helps us to have a quick boost of sales in terms of okay i have somewhere down the line one chinese guy i mean pardon me but yeah one chinese guy told me that yes this pandemic going to come 
and you stock up mask and you stock up your sanitizers i said okay fair enough i take go down on rent i contact all the dealers of live boy and ricket and ben kaiser and take all the detols and sanitizers keep it stocked march april i know the pandemic is up to this rise right now then i say sora medical has all the needs that you have you want we have got uh, we have got mask we have got sanitizers we have got hand wash you name it you are free so this is also how does this marketing work right you there's a demand and supply if you know and again ramdas yeah. sir is calling so, <laughs> in the picture so, yeah in it the is, picture so yeah. there's a demand and supply right if i stock up my supply right if i don't supply outside definitely the demand and the pricing rise because people are willing to pay me an extra premium just to have that product right and on that note i'll ask uh, uh, that that uh, same uh, one question afrin our student has raised that on that uh, how do uh, top brands from a tourism industry can leverage this uh, on moment marketing this leverage moment marketing in this current situation so we know uh, that uh, it is hit right You're right it is I mean, it is hit so as you said that we go to the pricing detail and right from that if we go and we relate with tourism industry and if you were to give uh, us some ideas what would it be how can we leverage at this so, time see uh, club mahindra resorts mm -hmm. if you know it it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. worldwide it's spread across all over yeah, yeah. they've got their own big campus and everything that caters to the different needs so you don't have to go out anywhere i mean mm -hmm. i myself have stayed in uh, bangalore and in uh, lonavala the i mean club mind the resort it's it's yeah. very beautiful it's very yeah. nice yeah. in scenario like these where i'm a little hesitant of again the food the safety the norms the touch part the uh, utensils and everything the people out there who's going to come right so what did club mahindra do they said that yes you can wear mask we'll give you sanitizers in every way you want there will be a startup kit that the moment you come into our hotel we're going to give you a small basket the basket is going to have some mask some sanitizers some hand washes some disposable masks the wearables and everything that you can dispose of once your uh, trip is done what did they do they ensured the client or I'm not client sorry but yeah they ensured the people who are going to come to their place that we are completely we are completely taking care of our product right. in terms of food safety travel the amenities that you're going to provide and everything of those sorts so it it type of a branding it types of marketing that helps types of propaganda right you keep on telling that no my product is safe my product is safe eventually i would want to try that thing right that yeah. is what these people are doing right now with i mean so called unlock 5.0 that is happening yeah. everyone is going out right i mean the malls yeah. are open the theaters are going to be utilized only with a x percentage because of the social distancing and everything but come tomorrow if the theater say that okay big cinema or probably a multiplex theater uh, like an inox in pune stays that we have 100 seats but because of the social distancing i'm going to put only 1 3 5 7 9 9 like an odd numbers or probably evening a 2 4 6 8 0 10 uh, the seats are sanitized every 3 hours the walls are screened the ticket is online you don't have to buy ticket anything like a paper like a touch point of thing the ticket will be emailed to you you can pay it online no need to pay cash no need to pay any card swipe all you need to do is just connect your google pay or paytm the ticket will email i mean the ticket will be available to you uh, via this website so right. these are making the customer kind of a confident that boss if i tomorrow i go to watch a movie i can be self assured that yes there won't be anything uh, disturbing or there won't be anything that could hamper me or my any colleague that i'm taking to right bhavika akshat's question maybe yes so uh, akshat has asked this question like why moment marketing is a phenomena based for a phenomenon based for big brands and is it the most impactful way of marketing or not for those big brands and even for other brands as well then if it is like that then why not like all the brands they take this as a primary marketing strategy like generally what happens are like we when we talk about marketing strategies we generally come up with like uh, people are doing segmentation targeting and positioning or something like that but moment marketing is something that we've not heard so often so how why do brands do not take it as a primary marketing strategy 
see moment marketing was already there it was present it it was never gone wherein okay it is now it has just come up because of the pandemic situation it was there earlier now how do you place that right so for example give me a simple example when you hear of detol what do you the tagline what does it say it says what 100 pratishat sampurna snan correct yes yes mm-hmm. exactly so for during whether it was 1700s or 1800s or even the early 1900s where other brands like a live boy or a hamam or a synthol or lirel all those things why did that all come up stating that so pratishat sampurna snan because it's a simple human feeling right that when you come out of the of taking a bath right you don't feel confident you don't feel yaar kuch reh gaya i still feel i'm not cleaned and Clean cleaned enough. enough or something right yeah so that is why the detol came up with that moment in that moment detol came up saying that boss you got if you take a bath with a detol product you're going to feel 100% satisfied take not of the product it's not about the product it's about the service that the product is going to do it's going to give you a feeling that i've taken a good bath and i'm clean and you have taken a very interesting example yesterday i was in uh, our founder dr pramod sir's uh, uh, we, were, we were in a meeting and dr pramod mm. sir used this example of life boy and he yeah just the opposite okay <laughs> so that all you, you used now so he was using life one he was uh, trying to tell me then you, you tell me that uh, they are saying you don't use uh, life boy but use any other soap Uh-huh. so i think that approach is a little different it is yet it is moment but it is doing a responsible marketing exactly and they come exactly. together yeah. there so every brand has its own creative and uh, i think innovative way so right. uh, we 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 come to that uh, question where um, i would ask you as a faculty that what are the tips you would give our students here the people who are going to go out the juniors here to understand and get into writing a moment marketing if they if they indulge in one into writing mm-hmm. in a campaign and they've already started what are the tips you would give to a fresher what are the things they should do first of all understand what you're selling second whom are you selling that to i cannot sell a walking stick to a 40 year old athlete no because that would be useless because that person doesn't need one i can probably sell a stick to an 8 year old guy 8 year old aged person or i can have some kind of an uh, design or some kind of thing and give it to a 2 year old or a 4 year old kid which he probably we can use it like a hockey stick or a cricket bat or anything of those sorts or even use like a drum drum sticks so understand the importance or understand the end result of the product that's going to be if you give a stick to a 40 year old guy that person is probably going to use it to shoo away dogs when he goes for a morning walk or something yeah. and then stick is going to lie somewhere in the back of the corner in the house if it give it to a 80 year old guy of course he's going to use it because of whatever problem or anything of those sorts if you give it to a kid that kid is going to use it to any other means so one product does not fit each pocket you right so any product can be used in different manners in order to build a strategy like if i want to spend or if i want to sell a single pen use the pen to make the other person understand what are the different uses right of course you can write a pen you can signature a, a, all those things and blah 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 but give that person a need a demand or a source of stating that no boss you require this pen so please use it these are the benefits of course the benefits is like benefits like different the ink does not dry it's a rechargeable or whatever that you have anything and yes your product should have a usp if you have an usp it determines it rules out the different competitors present in your uh, domain as simple as that you, when you, have it, mm-hmm. sorry so when did food delivery start right we are always habitual of going into a restaurant and eating but yes. the moment that home delivery started it was in usp nobody would imagine that okay i could deliver food at home right so and that made us actually lazy i would say yeah i mean we are not going out we have been just ordering food we were not ordering anything anything and everything i mean amazon flipkart probably a dmart app you name it it gets delivered to your home so is it a continuous and uh, uh, con- 
continuous effort of knowing the need and then doing it or oh, exactly. so, creating something and creating a need i mean exactly. it, I, so, uh, is it a cyclical process a how do you see it's it? a cyclical it's a because yeah. see for example uh, pepsi tagline is what it will mange more right right it's simple so when you get one product you want to get one more you want to get one more so i'll give you an example they created that yeah it's a live yeah. example my brother works on in amazon and mm-hmm. he's in seattle mm-hmm. so if you have heard there is an uh, retail store of amazon in those amazon domes if you call it if you just google amazon dome we you will get a good picture of what amazon dome is there's a small retail store over there where it does not use your credit card it does not use your any information what it does is the moment you take one shopping basket the basket has got electronic scanners and it identifies that okay you have picked up what it does is all you need to do is swiping your access card say everyone has your id card simple you swipe in your id card and it knows that okay saurabh mandarkar uh, batch number 2002 2004 primary in uh, isb and in marketing and finance and gives the information of okay viman nagar five basic demographic in example what it does it it automatically syncs up all my credit card my bank account and what is my needs and everything or what is something which i have kept in my cart right. all i do is pick up products 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 everything put it in my cart put it in my shopping bag walk away hmm. it does not get billed it does not get uh, i don't have to stand in a line i do not get paid online where i have to pay via credit card swiping and everything the product when it removes and keeps in my basket right the product code and the basket code matches together makes it as a unique code and then gets it tagged to my credit card which is online i don't pay the moment i come home i choose the product i take the product i go to simple amazon online the shopping uh, website you purchase 10 products of these this this are you satisfied yes the moment i press yes the money gets deducted from my credit card so would you say that uh, do you see that many of the brands are playing on that convenience part and being visible so does convenience is convenience also in the moment well exactly because see i'll tell you would you rather buy a jeans online or would you go to a mall feel the jeans try it out look at yourself how do you see yourself in a mirror and then buy it for me it is mall i need to Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it yeah. it all depends, right? But when it's the right now, the moment is I cannot go to a mall, correct? Right. And why why the companies are building up on so if the companies say that okay you don't want to go to the mall, I'll get you the product at home. There's the one right. delivery guy who will come. You don't have to pay. Yes. You know, things are. Yes. But yes. what do they do? Is how do they capitalize on the product or on the? We one option one is okay. You don't want to buy the product. I mean, you don't like the product. You give it back to us, mm. but that will be a credit to us. So you can buy whenever you want, like a credit. No, that means my sale is done. My money is blocked. Or other part is okay. You do not buy, but I'll replace you with that product. Okay, yes. you don't want to buy jeans. I'll give you probably a T-shirt of that equivalent value, if not lesser. So right. this is how these people play. Right. Right. They, they capitalize on that, and we know exactly. that. Exactly. Yes, and uh, 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 there is. Uh, there is another question i think uh, which yes. ha, shrishti's question i uh, so so this question is from shrishti uh, so she wants to ask this question like how do brands that follow moment marketing so how do they target uh, segment and target their customers in this current pandemic how do they do that how do they segment so how uh, how are people segmented in the uh, current scenario uh, yes in the current scenario and especially for the brands that follow this moment marketing so how do they do that would you like to answer that so see sishti so again i would reiterate it's end of the day what product you want to sell second who is your client audience whom do you want audience whom do you want to sell that product to now if you know that your customers or your consumers again there's a difference between customer and consumer if these two are your brand loyal they will probably wait it out and then you will buy say again give an example of nestle right we stopped buying nestle because we got to know that okay it has lead it has all the chemical and everything and all right we we paused it we didn't stop it we just paused it we ceased the consumption or uh, consumption or intake correct right? but the moment we came to know that okay maggi ab pehle i mean kya pehle se acha hai ya pehle se behtar something of those sorts correct right? it the 
the moment it came we just talked it up correct right and that was the moment where nestle came up and said that okay we have changed we have testified there is nothing wrong there is no poisonous chemicals it's as good as new and it's as same as old so there is nothing changed so you can buy your product uh, buy product completely so just to answer your question correct so end of the day if your product is going to sell with the cons- customers or consumers who's going to buy even after say a 6 month later they will buy a product Okay, so there is another one, Mira Marin, who asked, "Is there a, a, a one tactic if you could share on uh, uh, brand building through moment marketing? One, one or two. I mean, you have shared a lot, <laughs> but uh, so endorsing. Brand- I mean, how do they endo- how how can they endorse themselves? I mean, he she they did not maintain any uh, what life cycle the brand is in, Same. but just generally so, saying. So if your product is you want to endorse it to somebody who's so again depend upon what kind of product if it is a health health mm-hmm. health insurance for example you might want to associate with a person who is very healthy who's like a mm, example milan soman correct with whatever age that he is in right now mm-hmm. he is still active he jogs he walks he, his mother is also very active correct mm-hmm. now likewise if you want to uh to market a product which is a little aggressive which is little rugged you just give an example you don't want to put venkatpati raju or uh, any of those former cricketers But, right now to a yeah, brand yeah yeah for example uh, this uh, bank of baroda uh, ambassador is pv sindhu yep right so uh, what do you think uh, they i mean that's a that's a banking uh, hdfc again also has uh, they have excellent uh, moment marketing Correct. campaigns they just started a lot so, so yeah what is no, your sorry. so there is no frankly there is no connection where in okay does she has a bank of baroda account or does she sell no. does she feel safer it's just because i can associate myself with that person bank of baroda might have the same product services like a credit card or a checkbook and online facility and blah 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 but end of the day if i can relate to that right now just diverting from a little topic mm-hmm. pulsar started in probably what 2001 or 2002 if i'm not mistaken 2002 or 3 i guess if not wrong how do we address our bike okay yaar kaisi chal rahi hai kitna mileage deti hai क्या कर रही है तेरी बाइक तेरी बाइक पे मैं बैठूं क्या सो इट्स ऑल फेमिन राइट बट व्हाट इज द टैग लाइन ऑफ पल्सर डेफिनेटली मेल करेक्ट सो द टैग लाइन ऑफ पल्सर बजाज पल्सर इज डेफिनेटली मेल बिकॉज अ बाइक व्हेन इट गेट्स एसोसिएटेड विद अ पर्सन यू एसोसिएट विद अ पर्सन बीइंग अ मैचो अ पर्सन विद अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ बिल्ड अ हाइट एंड दैट अ लिटिल स्टफनेस और रिगिडनेस करेक्ट रिजिडनेस सो that is how pulsar classified their bike as it's a definitely male bike it's not for feminine bike it's a male dominant or male bike mm. so it all depends upon what your product is whom do you want to get and that is how you associate with the brand so how you if, endorse how you want to like yeah, if i am i'm getting intrigued by a advertisement and i'm getting that or no i see myself in that product or i see myself using that product yes i will go ahead and buy there is a very interesting question we are talking about uh, from mehul they said we are talking about all successful campaigns has there been any failure a, a, a moment marketing gone wrong mm. you, are you aware of any which which did not garner any interest or had a negative feedback from people if you could have an insight But there have been many instances in the past is. mehul yep yep so in terms of uh not delivering up to their specific uh goal stuff right i mean yeah it's goals because not i mean frankly not to top of mind which comes to my mind where right. i can give right. you an example but yes hmm. advertising not always works it uh, yes. it all depends upon where uh, you project your product and if your product gets consumed so imagine if vodafone zuzus would have failed we everyone associated associate still associate vodafone still. with zuzus correct excellent yeah the moment you see a pug walking or pug uh, <laughs> running away with a small kid 
you yeah. associate with airtel kare but yeah. you whenever you buy airtel ka connection you don't say the bhai wo kutta isi ka hai kya uska hai kya but the moment you see that dog right abhi ye to airtel wala kutta hai you always say that right and i have i've got yeah. i've got different stuff as well because and on the road once i said abhi ye to airtel ka kutta and that lady gave me very bad looks so bad <laughs> so that that's one of the successful marketings right so there have been many in the past which did not uh... actually mehul actually just raised the thing that oh, oh, ethical i think he meant ethical consider what not to do as a moment marketer or a digital marketer what are the things i we should uh, you know take into ethical consideration if two or three tactics if you, if you can divert or uh, elongate what you think ethically would i would not go any against if i have my own startup if i have my own company to i mean cater to or a business that i'm functioning into i would not do something anything which is unethical because end of the day it's the entire business that is online correct i would probably wait it out i mean yes bear if i have the potential to bear some losses i would but ethically i would not go against and just in order to boost up my sales for a short term and then face a long term legal implications or any of anything of those sorts all right bhavika uh one last question yes sir. and then huh. yes sir so so i just want to know like there are uh, like as my asked and even afreen asked about tourism so sir i want to know not not even in tourism but in rest of the other industries be it any industry be it any sector how will moment marketing help us because moving forward when we will go into different sectors uh now when we will have jobs and we will go into different sectors so so how will this benefit us you can incorporate you are asking yes ma'am okay so how will this technique or this marketing strategy will benefit us when we go to any of the corporates or any of the sectors did anyone so okay i'm going to ask i'm going to answer that question with another uh, uh, with another question so did anyone ever imagine that we would be in a pandemic situation like this probably 7 no. months ago no one yeah. right we are all we are all chit chatting uh, inside the cafeteria inside the campus has listening to lectures and everything roaming out in the night and all we are all doing that what has changed all of a sudden i can't even stand shoulder to shoulder with my friend correct yeah there is some scare where he might be infected or i might be infected or we probably be just uh, not be but nevertheless whatever has happened happened we have come across we have uh, lived right we have uh, passed through the bad phase and right now probably we are going into a better mode right. going ahead how do different companies like even a tourism or even a automobile or any other industry food industry per se these industries will have to take utmost precautions definitely one second gather the confidence back of the consumer stating that nothing has changed we were in a rough phase we have come out of this and we are going to do it together and this is the product it is you can still consume a product say after 10 years if i am or if you guys are into different reputed companies right some god forbid but some kind of another pandemic situation arises it all depends upon what do you do say today because of the covid situation right the sale of mask and the sale of hand sanitizer is boomed come tomorrow if if there is say for example there is hardcore rainfall happening hardcore rainfall non stop for 3 4 days what's going to happen the next day again what's going to happen the next day you see all umbrellas coming out of the stands you see rain coats you see the rain rainfall or whatever rain footwear that's going to come into picture people are going to capitalize on that so it all depends upon what the current scenario is and how do i boost my sale today i might get a mask or a sanitizer from a mall not from medical dispensary or otc counter but tomorrow if there's a hard i mean there's a bad rain that is going to come it all depends upon the situation that i am in what kind of adversity that i'm facing and how do i overcome it so it all depends on the companies what product they sell alan soli never imagined they could probably sell mask they already alan soli always sells shirts t-shirts it's all casual wear and formal wear or kids wear never imagined they could sell mask right but they capitalized it and yes i see people wearing the company different brands different masks that they are uh, i mean offering bhavika you have a question so just one last thing 
like sir how was your journey from college to currently where you are now and what was the one thing or what was some things that kept you going because then this will help us to you know like uh, keep us some going learnings. Like, into college. learnings learnings yes, okay so first learn. first and foremost i enjoyed my college days because i myself being a bcom graduate i went to my college 7 days in 3 years only only one time at the time of admission at the time of getting the uh, the sorry hall degree. ticket that's it hall ticket not even degree degree came to my home i did not even go there and I then go there. so college is something yes that i still miss i mean with the whatsapp group that we have for that specific batch of 2002 and 2004 and we still communicate we still meet up and discuss see it would be easier for me to just okay how are your kids which school they are in what do they do what are their hobbies and blah 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 but the moment the college topic comes in right <laughs> that what we used to do we used to roam around and that time we just had one campus of viman nagar yes, yes that was our everything <laughs> i mean we wanted any notes okay go to the library at 2 am if you want anything from the computer okay ask the it person to open the computer lab and then we get all the notes and everything and all so it was us i mean it was for everything so from there till now the journey has been very exciting one advice i want to give to the people uh, in on the uh, room is learn something not necessarily that okay you got to learn skydiving or you got to learn any dish no not necessarily but have always have an interest or that keenness to know something to know to learn okay why i always keep on telling so in my company right i uh, am a digital marketing manager and there are around 150 people reporting into me directly or indirectly indirectly there are 460 directly there are 150 so whenever i have these team meetings and everything right so i always tell them I'll, and i always keep on saying this you sh- if there are five fingers on your hand right kon kaha kab kyu kaise if any problem any problem will lie around those five parameters only Always. and if you have the keenness if you have the uh what do you say if you have that uh, passion. Sort of passion 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 to yeah thank you so if you have that passion to answer those five or get answers to those five your life is set absolutely absolutely i think that that's that's on that note uh, i'll uh, ask one more one more last question <laughs> and we are not letting you go so easily no so uh, <laughs> so that is uh, uh, there are many people uh, through digital marketing is the thing and they know that you know uh, they they want to learn a lot about digital marketing and we all know that it is a very mm-hmm. diverse uh, topic when we 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 had a conversation before the webinar we we were also thinking what, what topic we should set to and i discussed the seo uh, uh, webinar before right mm-hmm. digital marketing with with yep, yep, adam yep, yep, sir yep, yep, yep right I right one, yep. and it's and and uh, some some uh, but, uh, points you should you can if you can share with the students because everybody is keen to learn about digital marketing so maybe what are the first things they should right now at this stage just focus on perhaps it could be skill it could be value driven whatever you want to even tell them see whenever we associate anything with digital or it it always goes back into coding and java and all those things right that is right. not true that is not true all the time all right. what you can do is say for example determine i work for a social media client the deal that i have or which i partly or remotely work with is a giant automobile company so i can i can definitely proudly say uh, before i mean within accenture the the deal that i'm currently working with of course i can tell the name but prior to that i work with bmw and within bmw i was uh, i mean i was into reporting and analytics of that digital media so you go to bmw.in or mini cooper of course mini cooper being uh, the brand for bmw owner so you go to bmw you spend x amount of seconds on a coupe or on a car or a convertible or a s class or a c class or a e class that time gets captured and the data that comes to me 
So, for example, yes. For we'll break you. Uh, Pramod sir is there with us. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. How are you doing? I think. Let's see if I can uh, add him. Maybe the surprise. Okay. Let's see if he can come on board. Let's see. So we would like to have you on board if you could give some time. He was just sharing the the, the, the words, nice, interesting ideas. Or we could give him time, but yeah, sorry, you were you so, saying something. So BMW, right? How much of time do you spend on an on a vehicle giving that website? So all that data comes into gets captured in the background. So. I, if I wait, if I'm a fresh graduate, right, and I want to go into or make my career into digital marketing, right, understand what are the different platforms or different, uh, yeah, platforms there, all different companies working like an Instagram or a Twitter or uh, Facebook or Skype or WhatsApp or anything. One, if you want to do a startup. Sir, is there online? <laughs> Hi, sir. How are you doing? Hi, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing better. <laughs> Nice to look at you after such a long time. <laughs> I've been listening to you. Nice, interesting. Uh -huh. Some interesting now thoughts and examples. Very nice. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you so much. Sir, was a surprise element for you, sir. Uh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, welcome. sir. Welcome, welcome. Carry on, carry on. Yeah, yeah. Bye, sure, sure. Thank you. Sure, sure. Yeah. Right. So, sorry, please. No, so going where I was there. So if you want to make a career out of digital marketing, right? Understand the nuances that the company or the different companies are facing challenges or they're facing issues. And mm -hmm. that is how when you brainstorm with those companies, right? So for example, if I get selected into a Twitter, now what does Twitter operate into? Twitter is a simple messaging service right. wherein I send across a message and that has been looked or uh, been heard by everyone. Either I can put a good feedback or a bad feedback or is it, it's a generic comment. Right. So then how is digital marketing connected to analytics? This right. is how when it comes to pictures. Say for example, I've got 1000 tweets coming a day. Hmm. And out of those 1000, say 20 are something which I don't want to or say 200, which I, there is no use, it's just simple. Now 800 of those are real valuable feedbacks that are coming to me on Twitter. Out of those 800, I classify them as different, like an automobile or a radio or a broadcasting or a TV or a commercial kind of stuff. And then I give up my presentation to say a radio one or a radio Mirchi, stating that today I received 1000 tweets out of these 1000, 800 of those says that your show, which comes from say three to five, has got interesting topics and they would want you to choose one celebrity to come next time. And this is how do you improve? These are the feedback. Okay. So that is how digital marketing is connected with uh, say analytics. If I were to give back a feedback to a tweet or a Twitter company. Right. Right. It is varied. There are different, different yes. structures so to it. When, so for example, if I join as an intern in Facebook, Hmm. I would not be putting into coding of such, right? Because for, frankly, that is not my uh, cup forte. of tea. I, I can't, right. Yeah, that's not right. my forte. And I've not, I've done marketing and finance from ISBM. I don't yes. want to go coding. Yes. Exactly. So, that is why I asked because there are, yeah. uh, as an, as an MBA, they are going to go out as MBA with diverse specialization. We have Correct. marketing <laughs> media uh, here. We have marketing finance, IRM, uh, uh, you know, mix. So, right. when, so there is a different kind of a job role, which is, uh, which is expected from an MBA. So Perfect. can, uh, what, what should be it? For example, you are to hire, for example, okay. very right. uh, moment on the moment, you are <laughs> to hire us and my students here. So if you're hiring Bhavika, what are the basic uh, things she should be or he should okay. be here? Three basic stuff. If I would say for a fresher person to hire one is the knack of looking into numbers. Because that is Good. day in and day out, I keep on looking at. Sure. One, you, I mean, again, if the webinar that I had with uh, Dr. Uh, Jeremy, sir, so <laughs> I said that your numbers just, I mean, not necessarily that numbers has to be your strength, but numbers can't be your weakness either. 
Yeah, yes. you should have some passion for numbers. One, you should be keen to learn about seeing a different way. I mean, it's simple. Either you eat this way or you eat this way. It's simple, right? If you eat from the front of your hand, if you uh, eat out of the, the box in a way. Out of the box, thing. yes. Yeah. Yes. Third is you got to impart those learnings to somebody else who's down the road. Now today, if I have got all the expertise in my hand, I can't do all the stuff, correct? I have to provide. Say, for example, Bhavika learns in some aspects of, say, uh, Instagram, correct? She learns, okay, what are the different kind of posts people put, what are the different followers, what are the different contents that come into Instagram. So she needs to ensure that whosoever the other trainees or in the team is, right, she got to give some meaningful analysis, okay. meaningful results, saying that Saurabh, in today's report, I've got 100 Instagram posts out of those 100. You're saying that she should have a value to her team. Exactly. Can I say yep. that? Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. So these are, in fact, not three, I would say four, you, Bhavika, you and others <laughs> to uh, join Accenture, I think, should have these three to four strengths. We, we just thank you so much, Saurabh, because uh, no problem, I, I mean, we have traveled the journey from your uh, journey to moment, being in the moment. And uh, it was very exciting as a faculty. I learned so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was my key point because I wanted to learn. <laughs> along with my students here today so and and the and the best thing about talking about brands and talking about advertisements offline online is that varied example we get and we get back you know it's a very nostalgic yep. thing Correct. because exactly. there's a point of uh, moment you have been there's a point of moment bhavika has been and so that just came together today bhavika some thank note for our guest today. Uh, I just want to thank you for all the knowledge that you provided us and truly this topic was something that was way beyond because we were not much aware about this thing so this topic helped us a lot to know much more about what exactly is moment marketing and definitely this will help us when we will further enter into the corporate and thank you so much sir for this insightful session that you provided. Thank you so thank much sir. It was my pleasure to be a part of the year. This is of course I mean I've, I'll give you a simple little, I'm, I'm afraid of, I'm, I'm little, I've got little stage fright. So what? Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, got stage, I've got stage fright. So okay. uh, it, it is very difficult for me. So whatever, whenever I give uh, some sort of a lecture or anything in my office, right? Mm -hmm. I keep on moving here and there. I'm not, okay. I mean, I cannot stand at one stage behind the podium, just keep on saying notes and everything. So I, what I do is I take the caller mic and I just keep on roaming throughout the auditorium, throughout the, uh, I mean, the entire room and I keep on roaming here and there. So that helps me to understand, okay, the person is listening, not listening, uh, any questions and just to say chit chat, hi, hello and all those things. So yeah, that is something. Yeah. So it has been really nice. So, I mean, 160, 170 participants. And oh, yes. I hope, I hope I made some sense to all the people on the you board. You not only made sense, sir, you made our Sunday a fruitful one. I think for ISBM, it is a very fruitful Sunday. And I really, from the heart, I enjoyed. I enjoyed thoroughly. What thank about you? Thank you, you so much. thank you so much. Yes, thank you. I agree with you. We all enjoyed a lot. Thank you so thank much. You. So I it think uh, we will be leaving. Uh, uh, Bhavik and I will be leaving. I think there is another student from Meteor. So we'll take your five minutes bye. We will stop okay. uh, uh, the webinar for the rest of the people right now. Thank sure. you everybody for being on board. Thank you. You might leave now. Stay safe. Stay safe. Yeah. Stay safe. Uh, Saurav sir, you don't go anywhere. We will need your bite. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ma'am, I'll just make up with the panelists so that... Oh, yeah. Take sure, the... sure. I'm leaving as well the screen, yeah. So, Akshat, are you there? Yeah. Oh, sir, left? No, no, sir, is there, ma'am. Just drinking water. Oh. Okay. Uh, Bhavika, you have to uh, enable my video as well. I have made you the panelist, so I yeah. guess you're able to uh, switch on the video. Co-host, uh, and you have to switch. Ram, but it's there. Like you cannot start your video because I, I, I'll, do it. It. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Wait.
Yeah. Now you can. Thank you. I leave the screen. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you so so hello sir it was a great yes, interaction sir. with you sir so shall we start sir yeah please so hello everyone welcome to the digital space of isbnm today we have a very esteemed and great alumni mr saurabh mandrekar he is currently associated with accenture as the digital marketing manager so i am akshat sharma from team medios and will be taking the all the interaction right with you So, sir, we have a lot of learnings from you through, throughout the webinar. So, my question is, what are the modifications that you have observed in all the batch that, uh, that has interrogated with you during all the questions and all, in comparison to your batch? Oh, so as many people say, kids get smarter throughout the generations. Likewise, I would say. people from batches from 2004 till 2018 or 20 yeah people have gone smarter because of of course the availability of resources the availability of technology at ease right yesterday we had to go to a computer lab to take out reports take prints and then study and everything nowadays with the technology at hand it is very easy to get all the information and all the communication that you want to to continue so i would say yeah people have become more educated the environment has changed the background has changed and uh, yes again the uh, information that is that you want to take out right that is easily available to you so that makes us smarter correct yeah absolutely sir so sir you have taken many uh, multiple faculties name and you have carried on with their uh, learnings as well so who is your go to faculty from isbnm Ah, you're putting me into a spot, Akshat. So, yeah. See, I'll <laughs> being from marketing and finance, right? I would definitely go with Ramdas, sir, because that is day in and day out we would be rooming with him, understanding what is marketing about, uh, understanding Philip Kotler, the verbatim that has been used in that, everything of those sorts. Not to forget Choksi, sir, who have been sort of a fatherly figure to us. So, whenever we had any issues in terms of learning from hr the policy how does ir work we have always been there library is one place where we never thought of getting into but yes we've always gone there and take out books to make our journals to make our notes and all jeremen sir i mean frankly for me i did not have much interaction because he was from the media background and later on uh, of course from the webinar and the interaction that we had later on whenever we had that alumni meet then i used to interact with him Promote sir was yes he helped a lot is the confidence that he carries right in of course during that time he had his uh, Mitsubishi Lancer what we know of that he used to drive in but the way he used to communicate to the people who used to come from campus correct I mean it's that he 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 always has that aura that he carries I mean the moment you see Doctor Promote Kumar walking I said. Dude, I got to be him someday. I want to be like him with the confidence, with the way he speaks, the he delivers lectures, the way he used to uh, speak with the campus people who used to come for the I mean selection of the candidates and all. That was amazing. That is all the learnings that we I mean we could take uh, from the college. Well, sir, talking about P K sir, he is our universal boss. We have we have we have <laughs> given him our this tag, the universal boss. So, so uh, like everyone has a different definition of success. So, what is success according to you? Oh, success for me. So, I'll give you an example. When I started working, right, I had uh, only what three or four people directly reporting to me, and right now I have got around one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty people directly reporting to me. Of course, indirectly there are more, but directly who, who. whose performance appraisal whose uh, bonuses or salaries depend upon my feedback so that is something there success is someone where i mean i can recognize okay akshay you have done a good job okay akshay you are doing very well okay akshay there is a client appreciation from you for me success happens when i come back home right and i feel satisfied about boss if that task nobody was able to do that Yes, I did that. I probably provided five percent of the solution, and that helped the problem to lessen down. Probably that's success for me. Money, number of people reporting, 
that could be sub that could be a secondary part but if i am playing part and is the trust factor right say today if akshat if i am your boss right and i tell you okay akshat i am giving you all the responsibility to solve the problem you want help you want a uh, person to help you out and we i'm giving you 24 hour, hours of timeline you got to give me the solution now you dig your grave out you dig your entire history you give me that solution the trust factor that i'm going to have on akshat tomorrow saying that boss if there is a problem yes akshat is a person is a go to person he's the person whom i can rely on that is success for me if today my boss gives me the full ownership full responsibility and he relies on me saying that if saurabh ke paas wo kaam gaya to saurabh kar dega that's a success story for me sir it was indeed a good definition for success for all of us so sir uh, the last question is mm -hmm. like uh, as we are the novice corporate entrants into the professional world so from isbm life what all the features and all the learnings we could take off to that world okay so if i were to understand your question correctly so it's a being new to the corporate world what yes, all sir. learnings or what all teachings do i impart from the college correct yes sir definitely yeah so one first and foremost understand what the company is all about right understand who are the competitors what is the basic company deals into uh, what are the challenges faced by them i never imagine myself being a marketing i mean as a pg dbm in marketing and then selling shoes but what helped me is when i learned about customer segmentation or customer differentiation in marketing that helped me to identify or increase sales when i was posted in eastern part of india so college learnings college experiences everything that helps you to make your company's life better company's reputation better or selling of products of those companies better that is the learning that i would take from the college so thank you so much for getting us time from your busy schedule and i also thank on behalf of the entire team media fan international school of business and media for enlightening us with your beautiful words no problem and happy to help always thank you so much sir thank Take you care, so man. much thank you so much okay i'll end the webinar now thank you okay thank Bye. you thank you, you sir thank you ma'am